Ah. Oh, jeez, gotta get out of the car. Tuesday, February 5th, and I'm at the River Trail in Redding, and last night it snowed here, and currently there's no snow anywhere. I'm out here with the one wheel and I just want to ride in a new place and there's been so many days in a row where I've started making a video and didn't do anything. I'm just going to see what kind of happens today and you guys can come along for the ride. This trail is five miles long and this is what it looks like. Pretty much the whole way. I hope I locked my car. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, but for real, how often does it snow in Redding? I think that last night was just a hailstorm and it appeared to be snow, but it was just big chunks of ice. It's been so hard for me to make videos lately. Like I, I've really wanted to make videos. You have no idea. I've gone out. I've literally taken my camera. I filmed enough for a vlog and then got so down on myself at the end of it because it seems so similar to everything else that I've already shot that I just got my GoPro. I went to everything, select all, delete. I don't know what's been wrong. Already one mile in. That's crazy. It doesn't seem like I've been riding a mile. I'm gonna check my app. Oh yeah, one mile. I see all this behind me. It was all on fire, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and the river's right here. am I supposed to do? That's the only way to go. Oh no. There's a trail back there up on that ridge. So all these trails are closed because of the car fire that happened. If you're not from California it was like one of the most destructive fires for about a month and then the campfire happened and it burned down a whole town which is pretty crazy you know. But I gotta go up this trail and I've never been up it so let's see where that goes. What can you do you know you just kind of have to go with the flow sometimes. Wow, look at all this burnt. It's intense. Today's a nice day after all these days of rain. Man, I was so depressed because of all the rain. I don't know what it is about Reading. I just don't like being here. Like, I don't know if, if I move somewhere else, am I just gonna get the same feeling that I have here? Last night I went to dinner with my dad and I told him that I just like, I don't want to be in Reading. I know that if I move, I'm going to get the same feeling somewhere else as I do here. It's because that feeling of being in one, one place, like being on vacation, no matter what, I can be happy because of my surroundings are constantly changing. Everything around me is constantly changing. I'm not doing the same thing over and over again. As humans, we were taught that that's kind of what we have to do. Every single morning we wake up, we go to school and we do that and so, we graduate from high school and some people choose to do that longer and they add work they add work to that equation and and surrounding themselves with the same people every day seeing the same people having the same conversations of what'd you do last night oh nothing and like naturally that's just like we do that until we die because that's that's the rules of life you have to make your money somehow there's some people in the world who choose not to do that and I want to be like those people I want to be the people who can work from wherever. It isn't a place that you go. Work is around you. That's that's where I wanna be. I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not somebody who creates a business. That's just not, I'm not a businessman. I don't have the business mindset. But what I am is a creative person. I can create. Like you give me a pen and paper, I can't help myself but start drawing. You give me a camera, I have to film something. Put an instrument in front of me, I have to try it. I have to do it, do something with it. You put, I don't even know how to do it, but I'll figure something out that sounds cool. That's just like who I am. That's how I work. Man, I really hope this trail leads somewhere. I wanted to ride just the normal five mile river trail, but now this trail seems to be leading me out towards Whiskey Town Lake. Oh well. I had to turn around because this led me to, uh, what road is this? Keswick Dam Road. I want to get better at telling you guys stories. Whoever watches this, I want to 
Like, my life is full of stories along with your life is full of stories. I saw this quote today, it's like, up to this day we've only had stories. And from today on, we'll only have more stories. That's all we have is just stories. Our lives are full of stories. Every single day is a story. I don't know what it, what it is that's holding me back from just daily vlogging. That's what I wanna do. I wanna daily vlog. I enjoy this. I enjoy this conversation right here. I'm talking to a camera right now, but I know on the other side of this camera, on the other side of your computer screen, on the other side of your phone, that it's you that I'm talking to. I just really enjoy this. Okay, so we're almost back. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I tried to wear the brightest colors today because for those drone shots, I really wanted to stand out. Mostly everything was shot on the GoPro except for the sequence with the drone and me riding when I'm not holding a camera. We are almost to the car now and I hope you guys had fun riding with me. I will talk to you in my office. So ready, set. Oh, okay. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed me talking and talking some more and some drone little footage and the river trail and me riding my one wheel like normal. It's only one thing I'd like to add to everything. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. So then you'll get the notification that I posted. That's pretty cool if you hit the bell. I've never hit the bell for somebody else. Maybe I should start doing that. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope something I said inspired somebody to do something cool and support a creator because we keep the world turning. Peace, friends, yeah.